Hey everyone, my name is Tom Miller. I'm the owner of Leaders Building Leaders, where we believe that the principal's job is the most interrupted job on the planet. So what we do as trainers and consultants and, uh, and uh, coaches is we bring vision, confidence, and clarity so we can strategize and execute on your school's goals. So I wanted to spend a couple minutes today specifically talking about uh, how to deal with challenging people, right? How to communicate to challenging people. If you're listening to this, you're either a, a teacher, a principal, a director, um, any you know, high level person uh, in, in a school. And, and so your job's already hard enough already. And the last thing that you should be dealing, having to deal with is difficult people, right? You know, folks who just make things a challenge. And in our current time, I mean, it's already hard enough in schools, right? You know, give me an amen in the chat box or in the comment box that, you know, like it's hard enough, like school is hard enough to be, you know, dealing with without COVID and without all these other pieces, without challenging people and their, uh, and their uh, behaviors. And so, so what I aim to do, you know, today is to give you a really easy process, an easy process in order to, to help you communicate to uh, challenging people. So if you're ready, give me a yes. So here we go. Give me a like now. Now, here's an example. Uh, I was working with this school leadership team, and it was amazing to me that every single meeting that this team had started late. <laughs> you know, my team and I, we would be there, we'd be sitting around the table, you know, five, five minutes ahead of time, because I believe, you know, um, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, don't bother coming, right? But it was, you know, it'd be one minute after, two minute after, and there'd only be a couple members of the team, but maybe the principal wasn't there, you know? So then someone would walk out and try to go find the principal and say, hey, you know, like our team meeting's about to start. But then the principal would walk in another door and then another person would, would be missing. It was, it was insanity. So if you've dealt with this, like late meetings are really an issue for me <laughs> because it makes me feel like, one, you don't value my time and you don't value the time of your people. Okay. And, and so, so this, this is a, something I learned from Simon Sinek, who, who's the uh, best-selling author of Start With Why and The Independent Game and Leaders That Eat Last. And he said, you have to do three things, right? When, when somebody, when somebody uh, um, does something to dismantle the culture that you're trying to get to, you need to immediately shovel the pile when it's small. You need to have a direct communication with them based upon these three things. Feelings, behavior, and impact. And he said specifically, it doesn't have to be in this order when you communicate it too. So for example, with my meeting example, I would say, um, you know, when you arrived late to the meeting today, because I can't say you're always late for meetings, right? Because that's way too broad. At, you know, so when you arrived at the meeting today, late right when or when you were late to the meeting or when you were late to work that's that's the that's the behavior the feeling you made me feel as though my time isn't valuable to you right or my team's time isn't valuable to you or you made me feel less important on your team or you know anything to that no matter however it made me feel that's how it made me feel right when you were late to the meeting today it made me feel like you didn't value my time so then we need to go to impact. So as a result, right, my number one concern is that the rest of your team is starting to feel the same way. And they're not going to work hard for you, or they're, they're not going to show on time. Or your uh, behavior is also allowing them to show bad behaviors with their teams, right? So you could pick lots of different impact, but you need to tell them, you know, the number one impact. So maybe the number one impact is, as a result, I'm not going to work with you anymore right? Or as a result, I'm not going to come to your team meetings anymore. Or as a result, my fear is you're going to lose the respect of the rest of your team. So the goals that you're trying to achieve are not going to happen. Now, as soon as this happens, you know, most leaders get uh, defensive and they, well, I had this or I got that or I was pulled this way or that's not fair because I have to do all these things. I'm responsible for all that stuff. All you do is you just repeat the FBI again. In this case, it was a BFI, right? When you were late to the meeting, it made me feel like you didn't value me and my team's time. So as a result, I'm not coming to your meetings anymore, right? Or when you were late to the meeting this morning, it made me feel like you didn't value 
the rest of the people that you invited. And as a result, the more you devalue people, the less they're going to work for you. And I'm fearful for your success with that. Right? Real easy. Go through it. Practice it. Right. So start to identify things. And here's the most important piece. You got to shovel the pile when it's small. The longer you wait to have the conversation, the worse that the conversation you know, impacts going to be. And the more that you're going to, you know, be built up inside with your own feelings. Right. So take the emotion out of it. Right. Take Re, you know, re remove the, remove the emotion. This is how you made me feel. This is what you did. And this is as a result, what the consequences are going to be. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was share it out to someone else, put a comment about what part you liked or what part you'd like to use, or if you used it, you know, go back and tell me that it worked. Um, and if you want to learn more about what we do, uh, we uh, specialize in creating clarity, building confidence, and helping leaders uh, strategize so they can execute on their goals for short and long-term success. My name is Tom Miller. Visit us at lbleaders.com. Thanks, everyone.